ladies and gentlemen, tragedy struck up at the White House. Four people were hit by lightning, three died, and one is injured. So one of the people that were killed was an elderly couple from Wisconsin. So let's get into this. When a lightning strike near White House leave three dead, one injured. So a husband and wife from Wisconsin celebrating more than five decades of marriage were killed in a lightning strike outside the White House. The third victim was pronounced dead Friday evening and the other is hospitalized with life-threatening injuries. James Muller, 76, and Donna Muller, 75, of Janesville, Wisconsin, died of their injury after the lightning strike Thursday in Lafayette Park, located directly outside the White House complex. The Metropolitan Police Department said Friday the third victim, a 29-year-old adult male, was pronounced dead Friday. A fourth person, a woman, was in critical condition, the police department said. Their identities were not immediately released. Authorities did not reveal how the people were injured other than to say they were critically hurt in a lightning strike. The Mullers were on a trip to Washington, D.C., to celebrate their 56 year of wedding anniversary. 56 years, that's a long time. According to their niece, Michelle McNett of Janesville. They were a loving couple, McNett told the Wisconsin State Journal. They were very, very family oriented. I think everyone just in shock right now and kind of a request privacy. So the couple had five children, 10 grandchildren and four great grandchildren, she told the paper. Mm -mm -mm. Donna Muller was a teacher and in retirement worked for a comfort shop a local furniture store. Jim, 76, was a retired contractor who had his own drywall business. McNett said she is not sure why the couple picked the nation's capital for their vacation, but added that Donna was a constant learner. The husband and wife, according to their niece, loved having gatherings and just had a big family gathering weeks ago. They are very religious, she said. So they're more than likely a Christian couple, just the kind of people who would give their shirt off their back to do anything for you, both of them. Officers with the Secret Service and the U.S. Park Police witnessed the lightning strike Thursday night and ran over to render first aid, officials said. Emergency medical crews, uh, they were called on the scene just before 7 p.m. and had transported all the victims to the hospital with critical life-threatening injuries. Fire department spokesperson Vito Bagilio all right, so we are saddened by the tragic loss of life after the lightning strike in Lafayette Park. White House Press Secretary Karen Jean-Pierre, this is what she said, our hearts are with the families who lost loved ones. And we are praying for those still fighting for their lives. And I looked at a couple of the pictures of the lightning strike. And I picked the picture that you see on the screen because believe it or not, it's probably the clearest one. This is an actual shot of that lightning strike. Now they do have some that are more close where the White House is, but all of those shots are fuzzy. None of them are clear, but 
this one they said is what they captured on camera just before the four people were hit. So, yes, I mean, it's a tragedy. You know, nobody on this earth, despite what people think, oh, this can be controlled and that can be controlled. You, you can't control this. This is not something that man can control. Lightning strikes? I don't think so. But, you know, some of y'all are willing to believe anything. So I guess you probably would believe some some man on this planet did this lightning strike. I mean, I wouldn't put it past you, but that is absolutely impossible. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. I, I tell you what, you just never know. You never know when your last day is coming, you know, and you better stay prayed up. And as for America, America, you might want to think about repenting. In fact, just go ahead and do it. At the end of the day, you're going to wish you had. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.